Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, hello. My name is Kim. I go by Kimber Kiss Cosmic Queen here on YouTube. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh my God, okay, someone moved here or someone is moving. There is a feeling of a lack of trust with this romance. Someone's like questioning the motives here. Maybe this person, yeah, there's like a lack of balance. So someone here within this specific dynamic, someone here likes the person more than the other. And so it's causing this person to like push you away or you push them away. There's definitely a message here about your work in the past, like something with like that. We all get confused about love, let's be honest. Is this a cycle of bad luck or is the wheel turning in our favor? Well, I'm here to tell you that if you try this amazing service called King, you're going to absolutely love it. I got this reading using today's sponsor, Keen. Keen connects you with talented tarot readers and also astrologers. And if you want to get a reading on Keen like I did, it's super easy to start. All you have to do is create an account and you'll be able to choose from the hundreds of readers who are online right now. These readers each have very unique specialties designed to provide a deeper understanding of your unique situation. Want to learn more about your love life? Is he or she cheating on you? Do they love you? Keen has a reader ready to provide you clarity and insight. You can choose whichever reader best suits your needs and you'll be able to connect with via phone call or text chat. And as a new customer on Keen, you can try your first 10 minutes for only $1.99, which is up to $99 in savings. Go to trykeen.com slash Kimberkiss. Click the link in my description to save big on your first reading. I promise you, you're going to fall in love with their service as much as I have. There will be an adventure. Yeah, so there's something here with your work that's going to be very magical. Um, it could be like an energetic, you know, upgrade, up level, or it could be simply um, traveling. I'm getting like travel here or an exploration into something, something that you've been wanting to look into, that you've been wanting to explore. I'm also getting like a lot of strength here. I'm also getting like coming out of opposition in the mind. I'm also getting you sacrificed a lot in the past. You have to really trust your intuition. You will continue to moving forward. I'm getting also messages about gematria, like something to do with gematria, looking into gematria. Um, I'm feeling like coming out of defeat, coming out of like this private energy that you've been like, you've been keeping all your magic inside and it's just like going to explode out. Okay. So this is a collective energy reading right here. But it is twin flame um, or oriented because there is, yeah, the romantic just popped out. The romantic just popped out on top of generosity and intuition moving forward. What can we get here, spirit? What is going on? There's a lot of messages for the collective. Okay, the truth of the matter with your creativity in the reverse is that there will be a reward, but you're doubting it. There will be union, but you're doubting it because you have this indecisive energy and stress concerning this union. There's a lot of energies here. You're really having to really trust your intuition at this time, okay? Because this is part of the game. Yeah, and also your muses, what lights you up, what colors, what creative energies, um, where are you holding yourself back? You're having to get a new perspective and a change of attitude on where you've been holding yourself back so that way you can move forward. I'm getting like the devil's at play here, okay? Like trying to make you feel like you have to compete with individuals or maybe this is the energy they're projecting onto your person, feeling like they have to compete to get your attention, okay? There's sorrow that they're having to clear here within the dynamic. There's a crossroads, there's a message with the crossroads. There's a decision that you both are going to have to make it has caused a lot of mumbo jumbo, a lot of stress, a lot of frustration, but you both know what this is, what this message is, and what this decision you have to make is. You both know. Hearing you both love each other very much. There's something that you've been wanting to build, but you can't rush it. You have to wait for the right time. 
there will be clarity on this situation coming soon. Don't feel like you have to be perfect for this person. If this person's feeling like they have to be perfect for you, drop it. This is the energy that wants to be dropped, cleared, transformed. There is hope coming, but you have to overcome yourselves. There's a lot of feelings that you both feel, a lot of empathic nature that you both feel. It's a very deep, strong connection. Lots of feelings here. Lack of respect in the past. One of you treated the other one that way. There's definitely obsession here, a lot of obsessive energy. A lot of want and not so much trust. A lot of want, but not so much trust. Focus on the trust. That's the challenge, yeah. That's the challenge. Let's pull, I wanna pull a fairy tale card. There will be victory. There will be victory over this. And awesome ideas. Like I'm getting like you both are inventors in a sense. Very innovative. Let's pull a card here. I want to pull one of these guys. Just see it like a summarization on the energies. One more shuffle they're singing. Beauty and the Beast, number 23, and the Evil Queen. There was someone in the past that tried to ruin your connection. Or there could be someone now that's trying to ruin the connection. Between you and your forever person. Or your person could be feeling like they're a beast. When in fact, this is just an energetic, lower frequency vibration that they're needing to transmute and clear. Take it how you will. I did want to read... I want to get what I'm getting from these two cards. 23 means resurrection uh, or anastasis, okay? Um, and it has to do with Mary Magdalene, okay? And it has to do with a uh, devil energy, and it has to do with uh, a transmutation of that energy. Uh, you have to learn to open up your hearts and see beyond appearances, okay? Find the hidden beauty behind the ugliness of the of the dynamic. Close your eyes and trust your heart is what I'm hearing. Alice in Wonderland, it just took me to, but here um, you are the fairest of them all. You have been letting your your jealousy of others ruin the view and, and it tarnish the view of yourself come back to yourself come back to yourself are you are you jealous or are there jealous people around you in both cases be very cautious a heart that is filled with jealousy can play many evil tricks that lead to chaos and destruction if you want to calm and free your mind keep out of this meaningless rivalry by doing so you're the smartest of them all don't just be the fairest of them all. Be the smartest of them all. Don't allow jealous people to tarnish and ruin this connection that you both have. Also, don't allow your jealousy to turn you into a beast. Stay balanced here. There's That's the message there. There's some sort of like diabolical plan that was like put into place here somewhere within maybe a past life or even this current life, just know if you if you stick to your truth and don't let anyone dethrone you, you already won. In that knowing, in that statement right there, you already won, okay? Divine Feminine, so that's what I'm getting there. Let me pull one more card. They want me to pull a star seat card. I'm hearing reverence. All paths lead home. You have to trust that. So if you're very multidimensional, you've been led on a lot of different paths. Know that they all lead you home. This is your inner authority, your intuition. Turn your gaze within when everything on the outside feels chaotic. 
and just trust that that is your home and you are your home, okay? There's no place like home, Dorothy. Like, you are your own home and you need to trust that, okay? What else? Star bathing, you are a portal. You are a portal and you're going through a portal of the Pleiades, of lost lands, of fractalized consciousness coming back to who you are, understanding 911 just now on the clock, which is my birth time backwards, twin flames there, twin towers, 911. Um, and 119 is uh, Mary Magdalene code number in Gematria. It's also my birth time. Okay, so understanding the mirror and the holistic energies of both your mind, your heart, the stars and the cosmos, the ocean and its starfish, all of it connects. Okay, and you're understanding the immortality of you. You're like Osiris. Even if you're fractalized into 14 parts, you understand that seven of them are feminine, seven are masculine, and they're all a piece of you. You are a warrior calling back the totality of yourself and coming into your strength and not letting anyone or anything diminish who you are. When you call back yourself, that's when the magic unfolds in each statement that you do so because you're a keeper of the earth. You're not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, all the details can be found in the description box below. I offer general readings. I offer love readings. I offer channeled messages um, and also Starseed Origins readings. So you can check out my hundreds of reviews on my Etsy shop. I've done thousands upon thousands of readings. I love you all. They're so accurate. They really do help you all. And that's why I do what I do. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more of my readings and I love you so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye now.